So I don't think of the camera as a camera. I just give whatever the photographer's looking for. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This is Throwback Thursdays, and I'm Tim Blanks. Today we've got an interview with model Shalom Harlow. <laughs> like her close friend, Amber Valletta, Shalom was considered to be one of the wave of models that was almost an antidote to the supermodel era. Although, of course, the irony is that in the end they turned out to be almost as super as those original girls were. I was scouted as, at a concert where I'm from Toronto, and they just asked me if I'd ever thought of modeling. No, would you be interested? Maybe. Here I am, in Paris. Shalom was a real sort of quintessential model with legs that were probably at least six inches taller than my entire body height. Funnily enough, when I look at Carly Kloss on the runway now, I'm reminded of Shalom, a tall girl with a very balletic grace. I danced back home for about seven years. Ballet, tap, jazz, whole bit. In this interview from 1995, Shalom is 18 years old. But you can see why she became such a firm photographer's favorite. There's a real elegance about her. She had a face and a body that were made for haute couture, and so she worked for the greatest couturiers. Do you look at the photos and you think, whoa, is that me? Yeah, most of the time. Because they make you look so different. The wigs, the makeup, the attitudes, changes you completely. There was always that sort of alternative edge to her. I'd see her backstage, she'd be listening to Sonic Youth, and she'd be reading a very deep book. She always struck me as a very thoughtful model, a very socially conscious model. I guess you could say my parents were um, hippies. <laughs> How did your parents react to the fact that this is a world that you're working in? I mean, they're not thrilled about the value points in this business, but I mean, they're not my value points, and that's what's important, so. It's okay, I mean, they're happy that I'm getting a chance to travel, see the world, learn. Even though I'm not in school, I'm still learning. She and Amber were very concerned with environmental issues after the world had got used to the idea of supermodels as these untouchable ice queens. These women wanted to be more approachable. Strapping herself to trees as an environmental activist. Absolutely. Earth, earth first. Definitely. Yes, something, we actually, we need to do something We need with to that. get on top of that. Yeah. Well, you just did the thing in London. We're putting that out there. If there's any, you That's know. true. Yeah. Any way we can help, let us know. Amber and Shalom became one of the modeling world's great doubles acts and were often photographed together on and off the page. We're going to take you through a lot of people's closets this year. But first, we're going to take you through our own. Like her friend Amber, Shalom did make a move into movies eventually. Oh, and keep your cheeks clenched. Not those. These. My most memorable moments in Shalom's career generally come from the shows of either Alexander McQueen or John Galliano. She was the model who was hosed down by the angry robots at the end of the McQueen show, creating that image of her spinning slowly while she sprayed with paint. That is one of the most unforgettable fashion images of the last 50 years, I would say. She also modeled for John Galliano one of the couture shows in which she ran through a gorgeous garden in Paris, almost stark naked. You got the feeling she would loan herself readily to this kind of opportunity. There was something daring about her, I guess. And I'm not an analytical sort of person. I just kind of go with my instincts. So <laughs> it's difficult sometimes, but it's all right. She has an enormous body of work to show and I think people will look back in the future and really appreciate what she brought to the wild party of fashion. We'll be seeing your faces yeah. forever. I like I to think so. so. And even if it's not this real thing, I yeah. mean somehow there's a part of us, we us that's behind. immortalized yeah. and that's kind of great. What do you think about models now versus models then? Leave us some comments below. This is Throwback Thursdays. I'm Tim Blanks.